Hi, everybody. It's Stacy Soho with Salon Today Conversations, and today I'm with Seth Gitlitz from Tacit Salon Hold or yeah, Tacit Salon Holdings, and the new owner of the hair cutty, cuttery family of brands. Hi, Seth. How are you? Hey, how are you? Thank you so much for having me on this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you for thank you for joining us. Uh, Seth, you're a little bit new to us, so give us a little background on yourself and tell us why you were interested in the hair cuttery brands. Sure. Uh, so my background's in operational and financial restructuring turnarounds uh, in multi-unit retail, hospitality, hair care uh, businesses. And uh, hair cuttery is an amazing business uh, with decades of history. Uh, we see it as a very important company uh, and one of the best in the hair care business. Uh, and the company culture interested me right away. Uh, as you know, uh, most acquisitions uh, can fail because there isn't a culture match. But uh, we see a genuine sincerity in hair cutteries, family of brands, salon professionals who've been with the company for years and are incredibly passionate about the brand and serving their customers. And uh, we see customers who uh, truly believe in the brand and uh, see value in having a full service salon at an affordable price point. So we felt it was a natural fit. Sounds great. So you tell us a little bit about, I know a lot of people know the hair cuttery brand, but there are some other brands within that brand too. How are they different? Um, and how many salons are there and kind of where's your spread? Sure. So, hair cuttery family of brands made up of uh, hair cuttery, bubbles, and our professional line of hair care, Cebu. And we currently have over 500 stores and 8,000 salon professionals working across the country in 10 different states. And we're incredibly proud of everybody under the banner of hair cuttery family of brands. Uh, hair cuttery is uh, sort of the crown jewel as our full service salon at an affordable price point that's offering cuts, color, a full range of services. Bubbles is uh, where you go for more fashion forward cuts and styles for more creative cuts and color. And Cebu is our professional line of home hair care with a diverse range of SKUs to delight our customers. Uh, and Cebu is available in our salons and also available online so customers can maintain their cuts after their salon visit. And we love Cebu, it's very important to us. So where um, geographically are the salons located? Uh, predominantly along the East Coast and in the Midwest. Uh, and our big states right now, you know, Florida, Virginia, Maryland, Illinois, Pennsylvania. But uh, we're in 10 states. Now, it's been really challenging for um, salon owners of all sizes to weather this, this shutdown and this pandemic. Um, how, did, how, how did hair cuttery weather it? Uh, it's been very challenging for people, as you know. Uh, you know, COVID, you know, this health crisis is, is challenging the entire country. And uh, during the shutdown, we made sure to uh, work on the health and safety protocols that we would need in order to reopen our salons in a safe way. Safety is our number one priority, uh, both for the stylists and for our guests. Uh, and we've dedicated, fortunately, we have a significant amount of resources that we've dedicated to the business to ensure that we had the time to roll out uh, safety protocols that uh, matched the requirements in each one of the 10 states that we're, we're operating in. So that, you know, each state's a little bit different in terms of temperature checks, masks, gloves, hand sanitizer, uh, times of sanitation for the chairs between appointments. Uh, so, you know, we're following each one of those guidelines very closely and making sure that both our stylists and our guests uh, feel safe and when they come into the salons and, you know, they can uh, have a great experience. And I know part of that, um, what you did with the safety measures was creating this animated video, which we debuted uh, last week in a story. Cool. It was very cool. So uh, how did that come together and what has been um, your client's response to that video? People love it. Uh, you know, I, I uh, you know, commissioned it and I was so surprised at how great it was because it really captures the essence of hair cuttery and uh, the family of brands, what we're trying to accomplish and making sure our customers feel at ease. And when they watch that video, you know, it makes them feel safe knowing all the different precautions that we're taking. Uh, and people have really responded to it very positively. And, you know, we're making 
making sure that everybody has a chance to see it. Um, and I know also part of your your safety measures have included um, a relationship with Barbicide and their their recertification program. Um, yes. Talk yeah. a little bit about that and how that's helped your um, staff members prepare for reopening. Yeah, Barbicide has been a tremendous partner for us. Uh, that certification process, we have uh, many staff members who become Barbicide certified for safety and uh, we promote that on our website, on our emails, in our stores, uh, and we make sure that all of our staff is properly trained on it. Uh, you know, they've been a tremendous partner for us, and uh, we're actually in the process of bringing on a uh, chief medical officer that is going wow. to be uh, involved with the business and uh, making sure that both our stylists and our guests ha always have the most up-to-date training on safety, and making sure that you know the safety and well-being uh, of everybody is the most important priority that we have in our business. I love I love that you're doing that. That's a really strong uh, measure to take. Yeah. That's great. More details on that to come soon. You know, we're working very hard behind the scenes to make sure we bring in the right person, um, and I think that will make a big difference as well for customers and for stylists to really make sure that as uh, you know things change, CDC guidelines, state guidelines, that we're staying on top of it to reassure people. Well, and I think it's gotta be a massive undertaking because you're in so many different states. Um, the guidelines aren't just set, they change. And they change right. quickly, the reopening dates have changed. And we're, we're, you know, we actually have a dedicated resource who's just calling up all the states on a constant basis, uh, almost on a daily basis to get updates, learn about what's happening with their phased approach for reopenings, or in some cases, if they're uh, scaling back in the case of Illinois, we're making sure that we're staying on top of it so that our stylists and our guests are always uh, safe. So um, how many salons have you successfully reopened? All of them. All 511 stores that That's we great. have uh, are now open. Uh, it's uh, very exciting. I believe actually we have two stores that are in the process of opening due to uh, remodels, but every store that uh, could be opened is open currently. And we're very excited uh, to be able to bring 8,000 people back to work. That's an amazing accomplishment. And, and how are they feeling about coming back to work? And what's been the reaction of your clients? Uh, I think that uh, everyone's excited to get behind a chair, knowing that there's safety and knowing that we have all the PPE for them and we're consistently ordering uh, new supplies of masks and gloves and sanitation to make sure that we, we you know, are well stocked for not just stylists, but for the guests. And, uh, you know, the guests understand and they're patient when, you know, they can't walk in right now and they have to make an appointment. Um, you know, everybody understands that it's a challenging time and, you know, we're doing the best that we can to ensure health and safety. Uh, but I believe that, uh, you know, people are really happy with how we've rolled out the salons. And, you know, I have to really thank on this interview, all of our staff, um, you know, both uh, the stylists, the, the field leaders, um, you know, the employees in our corporate office uh, for doing such an amazing job to reopen all of our stores uh, in such a quick timeline in just a matter of weeks we've reopened our entire business uh, during uh, COVID and we've done it in a safe and effective way. And that's a, a tremendous amount of work. And I think we have the best team in the industry. So I wanna thank all of them as well. Now you've talked a lot about a lot of the things you're doing to support, but as the leadership, how are you supporting that reopening process? So, uh, you know, we're doing it through extra resources. We've brought in consultants, uh, you know, we make sure that, uh, you know, we set up actually a call center uh, and, uh, you know, to the extent that we already had call centers set up, we even ex expanded it with new hotlines uh, and added people so that uh, our stylists and customers have the ability to voice their concerns and make sure that, you know, any comments or even, you know, successes are heard. And we're documenting all those things and making sure that they bubble up to the right person uh, so that, you know, if there is an issue, we can handle it right away. Like, for example, if a salon doesn't have enough masks, you know, we get them a shipment immediately, same day, whatever we need to do to make sure that they have what they need uh, and to make sure that there's uh, enough, you know, aprons, gloves, sanitizer, everybody has what they need. That's great. 
So where do you foresee taking, as the new ownership and leadership of Hair Cuttery, where do you foresee taking the um, company in the next five years? So, um, you know, we foresee strategic growth, uh, you know, that uh, we have a full plan that really puts people first, uh, that is focused on stylists and making sure that uh, we're appreciating them and putting them first. We're focusing, focusing on technology and making sure that we're the most uh, data-driven technology forward company in the hair care business. Uh, and you know, we're doing that in a variety of ways. Uh, we're actually rolling out a stylist appreciation month very soon uh, with a lot of uh, fun incentives, prizes, um, you know, different initiatives to really make sure that you know, they're our front line, you know, they're working in the field, uh, during COVID, you know, with safety, but it's still a challenging task in order to delight our guests. And we want to show them that we appreciate that. So we're doing a lot of things over the next few weeks that are going to be really cool, really exciting, that have never been done before. Um, and that's all part of, uh, you know, being respectful of the history of the hair cuttery family of brands over the last four decades. But, uh, you know, being really excited for the future and really evolving the brand. And like I said, through technology, through safety, uh, putting our stylists first, we're gonna be respectful of the past, but really excited for the future. And we're gonna really evolve the company in a lot of really cool ways. So we're very excited for that. And we're gonna share you a lot of details uh, as, we've, uh, are, as we're ready to announce them and roll them out. Well, we look forward to hearing about those, those programs and those new technology tools as, as they come on board. So. Thank you so much for giving us a, an update. It's been nice to meet you and to hear um, your plans for hair cuttery and how you guys have weathered the pandemic. Um, it's still, you know, it's still ongoing. I hope at some point we'll move on past this and talk about, you know, the future and rebuilding and growth, but we're still, we're still kind of in this uh, pandemic right now. So, and yeah, for a lot yeah. of states, it's kind of going backwards and not forwards. So. Absolutely. And again, you know, safety is our number one priority. And, you know, when we bring on our chief medical officer, I think people even feel even more comfortable uh, coming into our salons and feeling good that they're getting the best service by the best possible professional. And we have the best people in the business at Hair Cuttery. Well, we love to hear um, when you do bring on that medical advisor and um, potentially doing an interview with, with that person as well. That would be Absolutely. great to hear their perspective. And how they foresee safety in the salon industry. So, absolutely. Thank you so much, Seth. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. Thank you. Everybody. You're welcome.